Hi, it's Jay here from Custom Cans and I'm going to go through some of the latest headphones we've got along with a, a couple of slightly older models which are classics. Uh, start off with an oldie but a goodie. It's the Sennheiser HD25s. Uh, um, these weren't originally designed for DJing as you might well know. They were designed for sound engineering and monitoring in studios, that kind of thing. So they've got a really nice flat response right across the board. Uh, very lightweight which is good, so if you're DJing for long periods you won't get a bad neck, that kind of thing. Another thing that I really like about them is that they're uh, all the parts you use are replaceable. So New headbands and cables and you can replace the ear pads. Pretty much everything on it, you can buy new ones off or you can upgrade, which is nice. We do a lot of uh, coloured pads and custom cables and that kind of stuff for these. And uh, they probably outsell most of the other headphones two to one, so uh, worth giving a mention there. And then Probably the young pretenders, the looking for the uh, Sennheiser HT25 Crown is the III TMA1. As you can see, they're they're very similar, similar kind of design, quite plain. They don't have the swivel hinge like the HT25 do, um, but but very flexible headband, which is good. Very comfortable to wear. They don't squeeze your head quite as much as the HD25, so that's whether you like that or not. They block out quite a lot of external noise, and they come with two different kinds of pads. Uh, one that blocks out more noise than the other, so depending on whether you like a lot of, uh, you like to be able to hear the background music, or you want to be able to block it all out. They come with a couple of different pads so you can change the sound. Um, detachable cable with mini jack, which is quite nice. Um, Completely matte black, they're like a like a stealth headphone. Uh, people can barely see them. They keep coming up and screaming at you, trying to see if you're wearing them when you're DJing out with them. I did find all the stuff when I was there, were like rubbing the side of them and stuff. Just going, ooh, nice feel. Yeah, quite sexy. Next, got Pioneer HDJ 500s. Uh, these again are very new. They've got a similar kind of hinge arrangement to the HD25, so you can uh, do one ear monitoring that kind of thing. And again, they they sit on the head nicely, you know, when you're monitoring. And they're quite comfortable around the neck for when you know, scratching and scratches and all that malarkey. Uh, there you go. There's a closer look at those. And again, detachable cable, mini jack, so you can plug just about any mini jack in. About, you can replace it quite easily, which is, which is good. Um, these are probably the Don Corleo in most people's opinion. Uh, they're the Pioneer HDJ 2000s. Uh, really good quality headphone. Like, you feel them in your, well, quality. Uh, magnesium body, so they're nice and light. Um, good sound quality, again, across the range. The mids are slightly forward on this, and they've got probably some of the most detailed bass of all of the, the headphones. So uh, if you're mixing a lot of like speed garage and dubstep and that kind of thing, you can really hear every uh, every nuance in the in the bass lines. Memory foam ear pads, so they're very comfortable. They, as I said, they're lightweight. They, you can put them on. Yeah, they get behind the ear nicely. Up there. Yeah, so they stay on the head nicely, which is good because they're because they're quite lightweight. Again, detachable cable. These ones have got a mini DIN socket in them. So, uh, lots of cable options on there. Uh, again, you can replace the ear pads, do different coloured ear pads, that kind of thing, and replace the, the head pad. Uh, next, got V Moda Crossfade LPs. These are some fancy looking headphones, look at that. Put them on, kind of feel like you, uh, you're a transformer or something. I like these just for wandering around town. Uh, DJ wise, nah, da -da, da -da. Uh, they don't block out as much of the external noise as I like. Uh, where I play it, right next to the monitor, so you need you need to block out a lot of the external sound in order to hear the track that's coming in. Uh, again, they're all right for one ear monitoring, but they don't have swiveling hinges, so they uh, they're not quite as good as some of them. And I find when you're wearing them around your neck, they kind of, with these metal, metal bits on the side, they dig into the into your collarbones a bit occasionally. Ah, you know, wreck myself with those. Uh, but overall they get very comfortable. That's the one thing I'll say. Uh, they fit around the ear. I've given them to lots of different people to try on, and uh, they've all, that's the first thing they've all said. God, these are some comfortable headphones. 
uh, other nice features. They've got a uh, Kevlar woven covered cable. Come with a couple of different cables. They come with the standard one and on the little microphone so you can use them with an iPod. I think they are designed more more for kind of poses, let's face it. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> wander around. I want to look like a big old transformer. That's what they're all about. Uh, not quite so good for DJing, but you know, they look the shit. And finally, I've got the Zomo 1200s. These are quite new, uh, they're very big, big and bold, uh, lots of bass, probably a bit too much bass, if you're mixing something with a heavy bass line you can't really hear the mids, it's difficult to mix in key, that kind of stuff, because the mids and the highs are a little bit drowned out by the excessive bass. But again, uh, I've sold a lot of these to friends and stuff and they're amazed by them, like, they love the sound. Um, but personally for me when I'm mixing I like the mids to be a little bit more clear. That's one thing I would say about the about the II TLA ones. Uh, very geared up towards the mid range and the high range. So these are like the opposite. So they've hardly got any bass compared to a lot of the other headphones. But the mids and stuff are very far forward. It makes it good for mixing. But I did find it a little bit harsh. Like at the end of the night, I, I, my ears hurt after <laughs> after DJing with those. So uh, so they're good, but I think you have to kind of maybe not monitor at quite such a loud level on those because the mids are so are so bright. And uh, that's my roundup. Hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions, just email. Uh, always always pleased to answer any questions. It's uh, jfunk at jfunk dot org uh, for email. Or if you want to check out some of the custom stuff we've made, check out customcans.co.uk got some mad uh, modified headphones and stuff on there so uh, enjoy keep up the uh, the DJing blah 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 the thing the thing the thing goodbye